Press Conference. My name is Nicholas George and I am the President of the Planning Committee of the Colleague Reunion 2017. And to my left is the Secretary of the Planning Committee, Mr. Okay. Michel John. The Colleague Community celebrated reunion 10 years ago between July and August of 2007. Today, this year will be the 10th anniversary of that celebration and a number of us, including residents of Colico who reside in the diaspora, particularly in England, and through a group known as Colico in Focus, we met in Colico after the passage of Erica and determined that we would celebrate the 10th anniversary of our reunion. The celebration is going to be between the 27th of July and the 7th of August 2017. In this regard, we have set up a committee of uh, residents of Colingo, and they are myself as the President, Nicholas George, Mr. Arthur Knight, Mr. Francis Severan, Mr. Mitchell John, Mr. Roger Knight, Mr. Kenny Jones, Ms. Maria Sebastian, Mr. Emil George, Ms. Juanita Etinoff, Mr. Garth John, Ms. Kathy Lewis, and Mr. Delroy Sebastian. Those of us who have just mentioned here have been meeting since September of last year to plan for the activities. We are just about six weeks away from the formal opening of that celebration. The main objective of the celebration is to harness the creativity of every person despite their diversity, its style, faith and other beliefs from the village in strengthening unity among villagers in the delivery of services and will be down to the overall development of the village. The 12th day celebration seeks also to highlight the rich cultural history of the villagers, harnessing the institutional memory of its elders and the preparation of the youth to take up their rightful place in the building of community. Today, the steering committee has held several meetings. At these meetings, a number of matters have been decided. Among these, we decided that the date for celebration is the 27th of July to the 7th of August. And we also set ourselves the completion or the commencement and or completion of four major projects. The landscaping of the Collingwood Bayfront and that will start from the southwestern end, just west of the primary school, to the north western end of the village, along the bayfront. We want to landscape this. Uh, following the passage of Hurricane Erica, we the debris and the silt that the storm deposited on our village was extracted from the village and deposited on the bayfront. So we have had an extension of the village, say, 100 feet towards the sea. We would like to landscape that for the use of the villagers. The erection of a core house that we would have used for our reunion headquarters. The upgrading of a very historical place, open space, in the village of Kaligo, we call La Plas and the upgrading of the Kaligo playing field. The number of acti activities that we have planned includes a praise and worship night. So following the formal opening, we will entertain the villagers, those who are from Kaligo, who are resident in Kaligo and those who are visiting. The list of activities includes 
trips to the Cabris, and our expectation is between 400 and 800 residents of Polygo who are outside of Polygo will visit. Church services and family sports, sports day on Monday, the 31st of July, to take part in whale watching and movie night where we come from the whale watching. And Tuesday, we want to visit our elders. So these are those persons who would be homebound. We will endeavor to visit all the homes, clean up the homes, spruce up the elders, and feed and leave them with a food basket. On a Wednesday, we will hike. On Thursday, the 3rd of August, we will host a talent night. And that night, we are inviting the talented people of Hollywood, particularly the youth, to join us and expose their talent. And we invited the whole of Dominica to that as well. Hollywood is known as a fishing village. We actually are in the parish of St. Peter. And we know that in the Bible, St. Peter is known as the great fisherman. So on Friday, the 4th of August, we will hold our fish line. On Saturday, the, on the following Saturday, we will conduct a trip to the Sufria Springs. And on the evening, we will have a food fair. We are invited to be in discussions with residents and the vendors. And we are giving them the opportunity to put on display their culinary skills. So they will prepare the meals and have it for sale for all those who expect visitors. And the Sunday, we will all go to church services in our different churches. And on the night, Sunday, the 6th of August, we will host a band splash. We are in discussions with three major bands on Ireland and these discussions are supposed to be concluded with the signing of contracts shortly. And so we will start the band splash at 6 p.m. and go on right through the night to a two-way from 4 to about 9 and then to celebrate our band movement, which is a cultural heritage of those of us who reside from Polio. The cultural band movement is a, is a Carnival uh, expression is practiced in the form that we practice only in Polygon at this time. As part of the celebrations, the committee will seeking to also publish a commemorative magazine. In this, we will seek to highlight the achievements of the people of Polygon. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in summary, we will host that activity on the 27th to the 7th and we are hoping that our residents who are outside of Colligo will join us and that the whole of Dominica will come to Colligo to uh, enjoy what it is that we will have on display in the village throughout the days and nights of this 12-day celebration. I will pass the microphone over to the Secretary for words for the time. Thank you everybody, those who are listening, those who are watching live, and those who are watching the videos. Um, I would just like to encourage you, of course, on behalf of the Colorado Beach Council, to try your best to attend our activities, which will be from July 27th to August 7th. Um, the Colorado Beach Council is working in collaboration with the Colorado Union Committee. Some of the Colorado Beach Council members are part of the Union Committee membership. So definitely we are working together as one in the community. Our theme is together we are one. This is what is happening, this is what we are doing. We are coming together as one people. Our different religious groups, we are coming together to have one worship service. Our different cultural persons are coming together to have different activities. The vendors, we are to encourage all the villagers, as the of the Community Council, to come on board to help us to have a very successful reunion.
so far we are getting a very positive feedback from those in the diaspora and the time in Florida. Of course, we also understand the villagers themselves who are actively taking part, those who have contributed financially, and also with your encouragement. We thank you very much for that and our sponsors to those who came on so far. We are very grateful and we are for the calling of this council that I get to gratitude to you all for what you are going for the calling of the community and the calling of the community in 2017 by Our activities, as Mr. Judge said, it's very much possible and we will ensure that it's the best that we go on. One thing I want to mention, I mean, what we have on August 1st, as we live in tropical South America, um, that night is a very important night because as we live in tropical South America, we really have a massive impact on our community. We actually affect your homes, it affect your families, it also affect your agriculture sector in the garden and the heights. So we are going to have an activity for that night where we will be talking about what Erica did to us, showing videos and pictures of Erica, learning from this experience of course, so that we can do the whole community and be more resilient persons in the community. So far the community and committee themselves have been committed, the members have been actively taking part, coming to meetings. As Mr. Judge said, we have had meetings um, from September we had meetings and we have actively taken part. We had meetings once a week and then we decided we have a meeting twice a week and then we have been sure that we all each day. Also, I would like to thank the community members, the community members for making their resources and themselves available to ensure that we have a good planning committee. So far, the members are very faithful in contributing financially and making their presence known and using their skills and talent. And we thank everybody who took part so far. I would like to encourage the villagers, of course, please ensure that you try your best take part in all the activities. Um, if you might have heard that Mr. George mentioned some out of village activities and in village activities, because we have to remember that we are catering for all courier persons, those living in the village and those from the diaspora will be returning. We want to ensure that we show Dominica this activity is not just about Dominica courier alone, but we are also entertaining parts of Dominica. So as a result of that, we'd like to encourage everyone in Dominica to patronize us and to come to our activities on July 27th or 7th as we work together as well. Yes, you do. Mr. John is also the chair, the president chair of the Colony Village Council. No, they are they are not actually they are still pursuing additional sponsors. But these are these are sponsors that have come on board that they've made the particular material available. And we promise every person who comes to the board as a sponsor that they will really get lecture at all our activities. What do you hope to accomplish with the, the reunion for the community? Yes, the theme is together we are one. And um, we, we know that we are a diverse people. We have different uh, political beliefs, we have different religious beliefs. We, we, we are different, but we're saying that we can use this diversity to our benefit. And one way that was exemplified in Hollywood is after the passage of the Tropical Storm Africa. Three weeks after that passage, it was difficult to, to really pinpoint whether all the silk that is now on the western end of the village, on the seashore, was actually in the village. So the, the, Villagers set the diversity aside and united to, in was one to make the village livable again in a very short space of time. So we are hoping that after the celebration and almost from then that we will come out of it a more united people despite our diversity. I mentioned to another project that we were in Uh, how will the committee go for funding or financing this project? We are in discussions with uh, two business entities in Hollywood. The area are uh, Quarry and the Gadafan Quarry in Hollywood. So we are hoping that uh, we started the discussions that through the use of the heavy, heavy equipment, we have the green of the playing field and the landscape. The, the silt is set up there. We want to landscape set the uh, grading and place rock arms between that land and the sea to protect it so we can have an additional recreation for the
Uh, we have also written to the government, uh, the Minister of Finance, and our parliamentary representative, Minister Kaffrey Daniel, and asked them to assist us in seeking the funding and the technical expertise we require in the projects. So we have word from the Minister that as far as the upgrade of the last dam is concerned, um, she will play a pivotal role in the structure of that project. Okay, so have you, have you received a response from the Minister of Finance or are you still waiting for? No, we haven't received a, a response from the Minister of Finance, but we are hopeful that uh, the Minister will finally give him his time to allocate the funds and the technical support that uh, we request. You said we'll leave it every place will be one of the items on your agenda of events. What exactly do you hope to achieve by releasing some of the events that took place on that fateful night? That, that fateful morning was a traumatic experience for the people of Mali. And um, then I spoke earlier about the coming together of the villagers. Actually, a member of the, the committee, Mr. Akhanai, is a, is a hero in our community. Because the following morning, he rallied the people of Hollywood to begin the killing project. And he was employed. When his employer called him 10 days later to get back to work, he said he couldn't leave the village without leadership and go to work. He lost his job. He remained in the village to make sure that people recovered from it. Um, to sit here and try to explain to you what it is that President went through, we are doing justice to the event. It was really seriously traumatic. And we are hoping that the lessons learned from it, not just we have a video that will show some of the flooding waters going through the village, but we also want to show the strength of character that resides within the people of Hollywood uh, in the face of uh, adversity. You know, some had mentioned that um, we are getting a good response from the United States, but how are villagers themselves or the neighboring village responding? Um, well, what are their responses on the upcoming activities? The diasporans are good, and the villagers are slowly coming on. The villagers are slowly coming on board. And though those persons in the neighboring communities, we are hoping from the publication of this press conference that the whole of Dominica and the rest of the world will learn of our activities. So we are also seeking to pack the with you and spread it around that uh, we need a united Dominica. And we started that process with one. And you said that to prospective um, sponsors, uh, you guys uh, will be giving them full publicity if they do come and work, is that correct? That's correct. Um, many people would have lost their livelihoods um, during the, the passage of a drug custom area. What are you going to do following this event to help these people, or are you helping them right now to recover their livelihoods? Is yes. that part of your, your mission for the reunion? That is exactly part of what we live in Erica with Sydney Mayo for us. So we will have the video, then we will have the explanations and we will have the discussions. What it is, how, it, how did you live your life before Erica? What happened during Erica? It decimated the village and uh, the livelihood of some people was just destroyed. We're slowly coming back. But what can we do as a people? to make the recovery more meaningful and So all that will be discussed. And hopefully, coming out of that, we'll have a, a roadmap to the total recovery. Um, and uh, with some of the funds that you guys are in, would some of those funds be allocated to um, maybe victims that are going to um, like emphasis has been placed on them? Would it be going to like the construction of maybe you know, development within the village or what do you guys expect to do with the funds that we receive? 
successful? One of the areas that we are looking at is the youth. Yes, and to, to have a releases really in sports and culture among the youth. Um, to the extent that we have excess funds and we hope people have that, we will simply invest it in that area. Is there a website for the, the, the reunion? Is there a web page or something? Yes, we have a web page and it's been, it's been promoted by the secretary. Okay, we have a Facebook page which is for, for the reunion 2017 <coughs> and there we um, publish announcements, we make requests from villagers and as you, as you just as a person you came to mind, when you ask the villagers uh, have to be taken back or are they giving good feedback? I have to just emphasize that they have. Sunday, recently we had a village walk, um, a few myself and another member, and the villagers gave a positive response, they didn't contribute financially as a result of the village. And so, so far, the response from the villagers are positive, they're looking forward to it, and mainly the people from the diaspora, and they're hoping to get us some feedback from the core of the focus UK, and give us a positive feedback also, and we want to some projects that we to do. So, I just wanted to answer that question and I came back to my answer. Um, I'm not sure if you, you mentioned it earlier, but what is the expected number of diasporans you would probably see during that time? During that time. It's about 400 to 800 based on the feedback. So far, um, we have a lot of persons from the UK and from the US, from the US, from the UK and the US, who are giving feedback that they will be We also have people from all you, but they are living in different parts of the world. So this is an additional number. We will be taking that and we will be coming to the activities for that. What are the methods of promotion that you all need besides the press conference? Are there any flyers going out? Yes, uh, we have already struck a relationship with the brewery, the public brewery. And so our advertising material, they asked us to take it to them and they, they help us. We are hoping to sit with all the like-minded proper business places and uh, we are expecting that we will be supported in the business. Okay. Yes. Alright, if there are no more questions, I want to really thank you for turning up. Our notice was short and uh, I am taking it that uh, this is the beginning of a partnership where we are doing additional activities. Next time we will invite you to Colibu prior to the commencement of the seven percent and you have an open invitation to get to Colibu, the members of the media, to celebrate and highlight what it is we do in the spring.